How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. We are back reviewing the next new exclusive car that we have gained in Forza Horizon 4. It's quite a special one today. We are taking a look at probably the biggest vehicle in the game that is an absolute monster. It is the Regalia Type D. I think that's how you say it. Now you get this car by first unlocking the Quartz Regalia, which you get for free by doing this seasonal championship on expert difficulty. You will get given the Quartz and then you can unlock the Type D through this method that we're gonna do in a short minute. And we're gonna take a look at the car, upgrade it and see what it's like. I'm sure it's gonna be a beast. Here it is. Oh, I, I forget how long that thing is. Look how far away the wheels are from each other. That is a massive car. But that's not the one we're reviewing today. The next one's even bigger. So apparently, if we go to the car mastery of this car here, we can unlock for 99 skill points the Regalia D, or the Type D, I think it's also called. Luckily, I have nearly 900 skill points built up, so I'm going to quickly wang through all of these. And unlock the number There's some skill points you have to Anyway, let's spend 99 skill points on that beast. Oh yes. Where is it? Is that it? Have I got it now? Yes! Look at that. That is ridiculous. Let's have a look at this in the auto show first. Um, oh my god, look how big that is. Oh my god. Look how big that thing is. I guarantee that the Peel P50 is smaller than one of those wheels. It's bound to be. Look at the size of it. That is ridiculous. And look, look at those exhausts. We cannot not comment on those exhausts. Unbelievable. Let's have a look at what upgrades we can do to this thing. Uh, we can engine swap it. We're not going to do that. That would just be daft. Um, rear wheel drive, no, that would just be daft as well. Well, I'm just going to fully upgrade everything else. We've not done any major swaps. We've not engine swapped it or drivetrain swapped it. We're just kind of giving it a lot of power, and there's nothing wrong with power. Uh, 800 horsepower, that's pretty meaty, that is. Should we pull over 900? 877 horsepower, that's pretty impressive. Let's have a drive in this rose chrome gold Type D that is absolutely huge. I really want to find a PLP 50 or a truck or something just to compare it to. Whoa! Oh, it sounds cool as well. Look how high up you are. That's ridiculous. Why is it so big? So she said, let me just go to Horizon Solo real quick so I have a lot of people. Whoa, look at the backfires. Oh my God. Come on, backfire again. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what's so satisfying about having nine exhausts. Could probably drive over that. Let me look at the size difference there. Look at the size difference to that. Oh my god. It accelerates really fast as well. Get out of my way. I wish you could drive over cars because this would be... Definitely be the king. Let's see if we can find a lorry or something. Because if we can find a lorry... Then... Um, or a truck... We can properly size compare it. Oh, a bus. Here we are. It's obviously not bigger than a bus, but that comes close. That comes very close. I mean, what looks better? That. Or that. I mean, look at it. Look at it. This thing is a fun thing to drive. It's guaranteed bigger than the van, yeah. Wow, it is literally bigger than the van. Hey up, Rambo. 
Let's just have a bit of a listen to the sound because this has actually got a decent car sound, to be honest with you. Let's have a listen. That's nice. There's a certain high tone pitch to it that genuinely sounds good. Let's take it to the drag strip, just out of curiosity. Just want to see what kind of times it can pull. Um, might, might be good, might be rubbish. Um, oh, <laughs> we're going to be against other big vehicles like the, the Warthog and stuff like that, but I think we're going to win, don't you? <laughs> It doesn't weigh as much as I thought. It's only 1.9 tonnes, which isn't much at all compared to uh, all the other big ones. Right, let's have a ganders. This is of. Oh! <laughs> it seems like the car's too big. Well, I absolutely whooped all of you, but not as much as I thought I would. Oh, look at him nearly taking us. Wow. Car's so big it doesn't even fit in the right lane. Yeah, stupid thing. Let's go do it again. What happens if I set it to just the Type Ds? <laughs> this could be quite interesting, this. How badly is it going to glitch us out here? Look, our wheels are nearly touching already. Here we go. <laughs> I'm stuck. Oh, that is a cool sight. Look at that. Oh yes, the crew of Type Ds. That's a fascinating sight, that is. Who's taking the lead? Oh, this guy's taking the lead by a touch. <laughs> oh, what's so satisfying about it? It's like something you see in the dev build days, that. Good ching. <laughs> Sorry! They're still pushing me! What a stupid race that was. Well, I like this car just because it's quite glitchy and it's satisfying when there's 700,000 of them next to each other. It's a bit of a shame it's quite a difficult one to get as well. You've got to do the championship, but then you need like 113 skill points to actually unlock this one on top of that. And then you probably never use the other one again. But wow, this thing's cool. I kind of want to see the underside of it, just, just, just for the fun of it. <laughs> what on earth are they? It's got a set of boobs. Someone please let me know what on earth they are. Are they air filters or something? Why is my camera moving? Why is my camera moving on its own? Stop it, you stupid thing. Ah! Well, that's a fascinating photo. <laughs> oh, I've done it again. Well, boys, I suggest getting this car where you can. I always say that, but for, especially for this one, this will be one of the best we get. It's a little bit tricky to get, but once you have the standard quartz regalia, you, you'll always be able to get access to this whenever you want. So as long as you do that championship to get the, uh, the car out of the way in the first place, you'll be fine. So yeah, anyway boys, we've had a bit of a play around. I'm not going to try engine swapping it because this is already fun enough, to be honest. You don't need to engine swap this thing. Oh, there's another one there. Hey up, pal. Uh, he's just crashing to a bus. Nice one, you moron. Easily the biggest car to see the lights of Forza Horizon 4. I mean, I know there's a lorry and everything, but would you really class that as a car? Oh, there's a bit of a crash going on here. Nice one, you morons. But yeah, anyway lads, hope you've all enjoyed, we've had a bit of a play around in this, get it while you can, look how small my character is, leave a like if you've enjoyed boys, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all, whoa, you can zoom in well fast, later.